Hello, my name is Jeff Peters, and today I'm going to show you how to use my new website, veryrelated.com. So I'm starting off in Firefox here, and I'm going to type in the address of my website. Meanwhile, this page currently viewing is the Jeff Peters Trio, which is my band's website on Emeem, which you can visit at emeem.com slash gpeters. So my new website is veryrelated.com, so I'll type in veryrelated.com, and I'll bring up the veryrelated.com website. So this website is an easy tool to find related words. It uses Yahoo's search engine to determine how related words are to each other. And it shows graphs like this one above here, uh, which visualize how popular the words are and how much they're related to each other. So I'm interested in the topic of frogs today. So I'm going to type in the word frog, click go, and bang, we get an interesting graph about what is really related to frog on the internet? So these things seem to make sense. You've got nice frog, hot frog. Well, the reason why hot is a bigger bubble is because the word hot is a more popular word than the word frogs and nice. Small is also a very popular word. And um, surprisingly, the word art is also very closely related to frog. And of course, green is very related to frog. I don't know if there's very many frogs which are not green even, so that's kind of a funny thing. And tree and wood. And you can also browse on this side of the screen on the left um, and you see this little magnifying glass. If you click the magnifying glass, it will actually bring up a Google search for how related the word frog is to any of the words below. So I went down here and I actually found this interesting one. Um, well, there's one frog and sack. And I look at this, well, what does sack have to do with frog? And if you look at this little bar here, it shows that sack is actually pretty well related to the word frog, rating up there with jungle and princess. So I click on this little magnifying glass brings up a Google search for frog and sack. And you can see it refers to Rodney Rood, who's a comedian, and his explicit lyrics, frog sack. We'll briefly look at this um, image here of some horrible man with a frog body and explicit lyrics. So I don't think anyone would like to go to that. But the point of this exercise is that I discovered something totally new based on a topic that I'm interested in. And of course, maybe I'm not interested so much in frog sack, but at least it's nice to know that it exists. So let's try another one for uh, a word that's another another word that I like very much is that's the word onion. So I'll type in onion, and I get a bunch of food-related words to onion: pepper and apple, vegetable, potatoes, hot, green, chicken, funny onion. That's unusual. Well, there's actually a comedy website called The Onion, which is actually very funny, and uh, it's a it's a satire website. So I don't know. It's it's a nice way to find out useful things. So of course. What is related to onion? All these delicious things like chicken, cheese, potatoes, apple, sour cream, ham. I'm getting hungry already. Even cow. Well, why is cow related to onion? So let's see. Um, it's not so clear, but there are over a million and a half pages that contain both onion and cow. So that maybe deserves a bit more investigation. But this this is making me hungry. Like, wow, I want to eat some pe onion, pepper, vegetable, and chicken with a bit of apple and sour cream. Of course, if you click on sour cream and onion, you'll get all these nice recipes for sour cream and onion, including potato chips and um, actually mostly potato chips. But we can look at this interesting picture here of focus on wellness. If we're going to bring that up. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. Nice uh, sour cream and onion snack bites. So going back to my website, you'll see that uh, it works for pretty much any topic. And if, if let's say you don't have a topic, you can just browse one of the ones here. If you're in Vancouver, you can click Vancouver and find out that Vancouver is in Canada. It's, it's commonly associated with Toronto, New York, and Seattle, Victoria. Um, it's also a good way to promote websites. So if you type in a website like uh, google.com, you get a bunch of other websites which related to it. This one's not really filled out yet, but uh, um, anyway, it's just uh, wanted to introduce this website to you and feel free to browse it. It's veryrelated.com and I'm sure you'll find a bunch of interesting stuff on it related to topics that you're interested in. So um, that's all for now and I hope you have a good day. Take care. Bye. Cool.